Hi there, and I hope you're all well and safe at the moment. I've got something a bit different now. I've bought one of these uh, wireless charging coils, a Qi charger from uh, eBay. And if you put it onto a Qi enabled charger, it does actually power up. And with it on the charger, we are getting just under 5 volts. As I take it off, it goes away. And back on. 5 volts. It takes a little while. I think there's some communication that goes on. Well, it's fairly quick. Yeah, so it's 5 volts. So it seems to be working. And what I've done, I've just put the scrap probe on a loop. And... Uh, so you can see the actual uh, wave that's being transmitted and it is running at 127 kilohertz. So what I'm going to use it for is I've built this little box a little while ago. It's just a normal Tupperware box. And inside you've got a motion sensor, a 18650 LiPo cell, a battery charge controller for the LiPo cell and a little MOSFET to turn on an LED. So this sits on the stairs and when you walk past the middle of the night it... Um, just turns the light on so you can see where you're going but you need to keep charging it so if I put the coil in the bottom I can actually just put that on the wireless charger and I don't need to plug it in and take the lid off that's the plan so here I have soldered the wires onto the uh, charge controller the TP4056 and now if I put that onto the coil it should charge battery which it is fantastic there is a bit of a high pitched squeal but I think that's resonance in the coil so yeah all I've got to do is stick that in the bottom and hopefully it's all done right so I've put that in I've put a bit of tape on the bottom to hold the coil in I said. and uh, now I should never have to take the lid off again to charge it because when I put it on here, it does seem a bit finicky where you put it. It's been exactly in the right place, so it's, it's not ideal. For any stretch of the imagination. Come on, work. There you go. See? Perfect. Everyone should have one. 